What's up guys, Eric here from Decasode TV, and today I'm gonna to be answering the most frequently asked question on my other Surface Book 3 videos, and that is, does the 127 watt charger that comes with the Surface Book 3 work with the Surface Book 2? When I was running my test, I actually found some really interesting results, so I figured it was worth making an entire video about this instead of just answering with a yes or no answer. However, if you're someone that just wants a quick yes or no answer so you can move on, the answer is yes, it technically does make a very tiny difference, but no, you should not go and buy a 127 watt charger to charge your Surface Book 2 because the difference is very, very minimal. But before you click away from this video, as I mentioned a second ago, I did make some pretty interesting discoveries about how the Surface Book 2 and Surface Book 3 charge, so it's definitely worth sticking around to learn about that. And if you guys appreciate me answering the question about whether or not the charger works right at the beginning of the video, be sure to drop a like down below because that really does help the channel out. One more thing I need to point out about my testing is that I used this smart switch here, which gives me real-time information about how much power is being consumed by whatever is plugged in to this outlet. And I'll have that information overlaid on the screen so you guys can see in real time what's happening with the power consumption when I'm doing different things on the Surface Book 2 and Surface Book 3. Let's get this plugged in and take a look. So we're going to start with the Surface Book 3 with the 127 watt charger that comes with it to get a baseline reading of what the power consumption is with the 127 watt power adapter. Let's go ahead and plug this in. And you can see right here that it jumps right up to 133 watts and stays kind of high for a little bit and is gradually coming back down. Now the reason the wattage is going down is because I'm not doing anything on my Surface Book 3 right now. I'm just on my desktop and I don't have any applications open, so it doesn't require a lot of power, which is why you see it settling around 67 to 68 watts. So to see the max wattage output of this adapter, we need to put a load on the processor. And to do that, I'm going to export a video from Premiere Pro. So I just started an export with Premiere Pro. And you can see that the CPU usage has gone up to 100% and it's going to sit there for the duration of this export. When that happens, you can see that the power meter is now reading between 135 and 138 watts. Right now, some of you guys are probably wondering why this is reading 138 watts when the power adapter says it's only rated for 127 watts. And the reason is because these power readings are coming from the wall, but the power brick itself is converting the AC power to DC power, which is being fed into the Surface Book 3. And when you do a power transfer like that, you do lose some power. So while the power coming from the wall is about 135 watts, what's actually going to the laptop is probably actually 127 watts. I'm going to unplug the 127 watt charger now, then we're gonna plug in the 102 watt charger that comes with the Surface Book 2, and we're gonna get a baseline for that as well with the Surface Book 3. So I've plugged in the Surface Book 2 power adapter, which is rated for 102 watts. You can see that I'm getting a reading of 108 watts. And again, because you're transferring from AC power to DC power, there is a little bit of loss. So the real power going to the Surface Book 3 is likely 102 watts. So we are now on the Surface Book 2. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the Surface Book 2 102 watt charger, and we'll see what we get for readings on this. As you can see, we get about 80 watts. Again, that's because I'm not doing anything here. But if I go ahead and open up Premiere Pro, you'll actually see that the wattage does start to increase. And the reason it's increasing is because I'm putting a load on the processor. You can see there that it peaked at about 106.4 watts. So I'm now exporting the 4K video again. As you can see here, my processor is being pinged to 100% usage and the power meter is showing 106.3 watts. And it doesn't seem to be deviating from that at all. So with the Surface Book 2's charger, the 102 watt charger, the max charge rate is 106.3 watts. Now let's go ahead and plug in the 127 watt charger and we'll see what we get for a result. So I've plugged in the 127 watt charger that you get with the Surface Book 3 and you can see that the wattage jumps up to 109.4 watts. So you're getting an increase of about two to three watts depending on what you're doing on your computer. But something I wanna point out now is that if I stop this export, close out of Premiere Pro and go back to my home screen, you'll see that the power meter drops right back down. So you're only getting that two to three watt improvement 
when you're under a heavy load. And that two to three watts is not going to be enough to make a big difference with how long your battery is going to last if you're in a heavy gaming session or you're exporting some pretty intense files. One more very important thing to point out is that both for the Surface Book 2 and the Surface Book 3, you're only going to be charging the batteries at 50 to 60 watts at any given time. And any of that extra power is only used when you're putting a load on the computer. So if you were thinking that you'd be able to charge your Surface Book 2 or Surface Book 3 faster by turning it off and plugging it in, that's actually not the case. You'll still be able to do any sort of web browsing, watching YouTube videos or Netflix, working on Word documents, answering emails, you'll still be able to do all of that light work and still charge just as fast as if the computer's turned off. The only time it's gonna charge slower is when you're really taxing the CPU and the GPU. If you guys found this video helpful, be sure to drop it a like down below. And if you guys have any more questions about the Surface Book 3, be sure to drop those in the comments down below because I wouldn't have made this video if it wasn't for all of the comments I was getting on the previous Surface Book 3 videos. And if you guys don't wanna miss my upcoming Surface Book 3 coverage, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications because if you don't turn those on, then you won't be notified when I upload those videos. And I've got two more planned for the Surface Book 3 that you guys definitely don't wanna miss. That's it for this tech episode. God bless guys and I'll catch you in the next one.